So I'm here in my creative uh, 3D spectrum world, and I, and I use it to help me build things a lot, looking for color relationships between everything. And then a recent video, I made a shulker farm out in the end, and this is kind of the leftovers of what I was trying to do when I was trying to design the colors and what it was going to look like. And it wasn't until I was doing this that, you know, we have a lot of purple blocks in the game, but there's nothing really like the shulker here. I wanted to make a an actual shulker, uh, a large shulker with this kind of same color scheme as the as the just a non dyed uh, shulker. But if um, if you look, there's not really any colors really around it uh, that are similar. You know how you have a couple, but the closer the color is to a block, then the, the more similar it is in this space. And it got me thinking, like, well, what other colors are actually missing from the game? And you can see there's actually quite a bit of, like, empty space. So if we get rid of all of the colors mm -hmm. here, all of the blocks, I've added a resource pack in here that just does the extreme end color. So this is pure black, uh, blacker than, you know, even the the uh, blackest uh, like coal and concrete we have in the game. But these colors are really like extreme colors. But probably you're never going to have these in the game. They just don't fit in there. So these are just the, the, the most extreme, uh, the purest red you can have with a RGB uh, color scheme. I'm going up here to white just so uh, you can see how weird it looks. That This is, I'm holding uh, white concrete. I place it next to pure white. It just looks really, uh, really gray, but um, I'm using uh, candles as like the, the modified block that I'm doing. That's why you see some particles there. But uh, yeah, just so the things that we think of as white really aren't that white or really aren't that pure in the game. Even cyan colors are more, you know, uh, a little bit, a lot more muted and uh, further down. So if we add all the colors back in here, if Minecraft had every color uh, possible, then this would be an entire solid cube of, of blocks. But, you know, we have these these uh, muted tones through the middle, we have the, you know, all the shades of gray, and then we move towards the other uh, primary colors out towards the edges. But if you have a block that is not very close to other blocks, uh, I've already talked about the shulker, but um, if you're trying to make a gradient, or transitioning, we use these boxes, trying stuff out. The more options you have, the more texture you can add, the smoother the gradient you can do. And so you kind of jump from one block to the next to the next, and that creates this nice uh, transition of color. But we have lots of colors that don't really have uh, good transitions. Like even this, uh, this is a cyan uh, stained glass here. There isn't a well, an actual like solid color block like anywhere close to it, and there's nothing. It's very hard to bridge between these colors and back to like anything else, and they're going down into the blues and the purples and everything. In 1.20, they're adding a couple new blocks, uh, specifically, let's see, bamboo here in kind of a green. You got stripped bamboo that should be up here and the more yellows and then cherry i missed it over here you know, really uh the light like pink colors so if we look i added i went through and kind of found the open areas and i added those colors in i made custom textures custom uh yeah, texture files. There's really no texture here. They're just all flat. But I kind of filled in the gaps. Um, I added, I think, 18 different colors. But um, much a lot of these are in these like blue and purple ranges down here. And the difficult trick would be to try to find things, find textures that you could that you could do that would kind of um, uh, average out to be this color, so they would fall like in this range. But um, there's a lot of these cool colors over here in the purples and pinks and everything, but some of my favorites are over here. I have this really great 
green, dark green. It's very close to um, spruce leaves, actually, but we don't have a good block. Let's see, spruce was here. We don't have a good block in the game that has like a solid color like this. Like there really isn't anything close, but really nice forest green color. And then there's like this pistachio kind of lightish green up here too that I really like. It would really go well with like the copper blocks, but uh, not sure what we could add to the game that would have a texture that would that would be like this. Kind of this, I uh, also had this like <laughs> sickly looking green color over here. Not sure, kind of looks like dead leaves or dead grass. It'd be cool to have that uh, in there. Some biomes, like the the uh, dry biomes, tend to have like the leaves and the grass tends to be this color, but don't really have a lot of blocks like actually in this color that we can we can use. And so, in in no real particular order, here I have all of the added block colors added in. So lots of purples, a couple that are really bright uh, that I don't think could, would actually work in my in Minecraft. A lot of these cool tones, and then we get into some green ones. The purple one should be down there, but uh, some really nice greens. Really love these cool blues right here. I can really see these being added into uh, some sort of aquatic uh, biome area for something. But uh, like I said, you can't just add these directly into the game because they aren't, they don't have no texture, just a flat color. So if you want something approximately close to this color, you have to have a texture that is averaged out to be this color. So um, if I would love to hear what you guys think about that. If there's an opinion about like what could be added that would be in this color tone that would work in Minecraft, um, I'd like to hear that. So there is all of this space also on towards the outside, and I don't think we're going to get any colors uh, way like out here just because they're too bright. Um, unless like, uh, you know, we already have some like old, uh, textures that are quite bright that are kind of like classic colors in Minecraft, but I just don't see it being added in cause the Minecraft is moving towards more realistic, uh, colors. I would say, unless, unless we get a new dimension or they start overhauling the end, uh, biomes, which would allow a lot more of these like purple colors to go in. There's very, very little colors to work with in the end if you're trying to actually stay um, in the same like general realism for for that that area. Uh, I think it would be great if they added more of these colors and add a little bit more variety to the end. I like its sparseness, but it would be cool if there is a, a few more little. Uh, biomes like out there and with the ancient cities added there is that portal like in the middle of them and so that's laying the, gr the ground for a whole new dimension i don't know what that dimension is going to be but like it's such a dark area and dark place to like have the portal It'd be very strange to come out and have like this very bright like biome or a bright bright uh dimension but it could be a cool change to like have to go through like this like really dark area to get to this bright, uh, vibrant, uh, alien uh, dimension. But I guess time will tell. I was just curious what the actual you know we were talking about like new colors and I'm trying to figure out what I would be excited for to have colors in there for building and and these would be kind of kind of pretty nice. I generally tend to uh, go towards cooler tones when I'm building something that uh, my daughter and I are going to actually be working on. We want to make some warm colored uh, builds uh, coming up, but uh, just, uh, I was thinking about it, thought I'd just make a little video about it. And it's, this actually, you know, helps me visualize also, cause like, it's kind of hard to just think like, all right, well, I, we don't have a, uh, where's that other nice real weird green color. Like, what would the color be if it was, like, out here? What color am I missing, like, to work with? Anyway, short little video. I'm going to be overhauling this world once again and when 1.20 comes out and re-releasing it with all the new block colors and everything. So if you want that, uh, hold and wait on for that. You can find the old one on some of my old videos. But anyway, bye. I'll see you later.